it says, uh, okay, the correct answer for question number three is option A, which is equal to 112. All right, 112. Now, let's share. It says a train X departs from station A at 11 a.m. for station B. Okay, so the initial gap, there is a train A and train B. Station A and station B. All right. The gap between these two stations is nothing but that is 180. So this is A, this is B, and the distance between these two is 180 kilometers. So one train, train X starts from station A. So train X starts from station A at 11 a.m. All right. Okay. Train X travels at an average speed of 70 km per hour and it does not stop anywhere until it arrives at train Y travels at an average speed of 50 km per hour. Okay, so train Y also is traveling at a speed of 50 km per hour. But this train is stopped for 15 minutes. So this train stopped for 15 minutes at a station C, which is 60 meter kilometer away from station B in route to station A. All right. Ignoring the length of the train, what is the distance to the nearest kilometer from station A to the point where the trains cross each other? Okay. Now there are a lot of ways. First of all, tell me one thing. Both the trains meet at a distance of something which is 60 kilometer away. Okay. So train Y, uh, both the trains started at exactly at 11 a.m. That is given to us. Both the trains started at exactly 11 a.m. But train Y, it has stopped for 15 minutes. So let's say if I say they are meeting after T hours. Okay. So if they are meeting after T hours, so what will happen in that case if they are meeting after T hours? The first train, okay, the first train, it has traveled 40 hours, or train A. Which I am saying, let they meet after T hours. Okay, so if they are meeting after T hours, so the train A has traveled for T hours, yes or no? So total distance traveled by train A, that is equal to 70 T. Plus, the another train, it has traveled for T minus 15 hours. Yes or no? T minus 15. You all agree with me? The second train has traveled for T minus 15 with a speed of 50. So that is 50 into T minus 1 by 4. And together they have traveled a distance 180. Because if they are meeting somewhere between A and B, so the combined distance traveled by A and B has to be equal to 180 kilometers. So I can say 70 T, the distance traveled by train X, Distance travelled by train Y is 50 into T minus 1 by 4 because it has stopped for 15 minutes and total distance is 180. So from here, if you simplify this, you get the value of like this one, 720 plus 50, that is equal to 120 T 50 by 4, that will be equal to 192.5. So T is equal to 192.5 upon 120. I hope that it is clear. Now, so the train will, both the trains will meet after this much time. So the question is, at what distance take care from station A, from station A. So all right, so we can say the train will meet at, okay, I can say train will meet at, that is equal to 70 into 192.5 upon 1. And if we simplify this, that will be comes up to be approximately 120 kilometers. So any doubts to anyone now? Please tell me. Because it is starting from point A. So that's why I have taken 70 into this much time. So train A e will travel, train X will travel 112. So they will meet at a distance of 100. Now there can be other alternative method also. Okay, if you think carefully, I'm saying method two. We know that the train Y, it has stopped for 15 minutes. So what is the distance traveled by train Y in 15 minutes? Tell me. What is the distance traveled by train Y in 15 minutes? 
ठीक है सो द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाई ट्रेन वाई इन फिफ्टीन मिनट इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी इन टू वन बाई फोर यस और नो सो इफ दिस इज पॉइंट ए एंड दिस इज पॉइंट बी एंड इन द फिफ्टीन मिनट द ट्रेन वाई कैन ट्रेवल फिफ्टी इंटू वन बाई फोर फिफ्टी इंटू वन बाई फोर इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच फिफ्टी बाई फोर दैट इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव सो लेट से इट इज एक्चुअली स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट पी एंड दिस इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर सो दिस इज वन हंड्रेड एट्टी एंड and what 12.5 192 so now you can see that there is one train starting from point a another train is starting from point b okay and both of them have started at exactly at 11 am so after how much time they will take and whenever they will meet that ratio of distance is always equal to ratio of speed yes or no the ratio of distance will be always equal to ratio of speed so let's say that train x travel distance x we do not know what is that x here ठीक है, द ट्रेन एक्स विल ट्रेवल अ डिस्टेंस एक्स सो आई कैन से ट्रेन ई हैज ट्रेवल अ डिस्टेंस एक्स ट्रेन वाई इन द सेम टाइम इट विल ट्रेवल अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ हाउ मच वन एट्टी प्लस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज द टोटल डिस्टेंस सो आई कैन से दैट इज इक्वल टू वन नाइनटी और इवन यू डू नॉट नीड टू डू इन दिस वे ठीक है द स्पीड ऑफ द ट्रेन एक्स इज सेवेंटी एंड द स्पीड ऑफ द ट्रेन वाई इज फिफ्टी सो यू नीड टू डिवाइड टोटल डिस्टेंस वन नाइनटी टू पॉइंट फाइव इन द रिसो सेवन इज टू फाइव so the train x will travel how much distance 7 by 12 into 192.5 and if you simplify this that will be equal to 112 approximate so this is the answer is the second approach also clear initial distance between a and b is 180 train y has stopped for 15 minutes so let us assume that in 15 minutes it can travel 12.5 so instead of starting from point b let's start train y 12.5 meters behind now you can see both the train started at the same time and none of them has stopped so whenever they meet the ratio of distance equal to ratio of speed and the ratio of speed is 7 is to 5 so ratio of distance will be also 7 is to 12 so the train which starts from a it will travel 7 by 12 into total distance 192.5 which is 400 so you can use any of these two approaches so gagan sandeep priyanka or shankar anyone has any doubts please ask me No. All right. Let's move to.